The city that we call home was founded in 1797. In the 1830s, the population was growing at a slow but steady rate and officially became known as East Liverpool. From its inception, the people here have had to overcome many obstacles. The city had lost to a neighboring community, a turnpike to Cleveland, an opportunity to be designated as the county seat. But despite the struggles, there was a man who believed that East Liverpool would be the ideal location to create a pottery industry. It didn't take long for East Liverpool to become the pottery capital of the United States of America. Everything seemed to be working in the favor of the city, from natural resources, federal trade, to politics in general. As a matter of fact, in the 1900s, a stunning 90% of all workers were employed in this industry. But by the 1960s or so, East Liverpool's pottery industry had steadily declined, leaving many people without work, overcome by the effects of depression, and feeling hopeless. But where there are people, there is hope. Over 11 years ago, my parents moved to East Liverpool. The city looked very different then. There were businesses on every corner and the community seemed to be thriving. And in 2001, I started working at Kent State University in the downtown campus. And in 2009, I decided to open PC Doctors downtown. As crazy as it seems, I didn't open the store to become rich. I opened the store so that I could be a dad to my kids. Over the years, the economic climate started to look bleak. Businesses that were once steadily growing started closing. The once bustling streets became riddled with silence. Businesses around me started closing left and right. I've always been a true believer that we could restore our city to its former beauty. Something had to be done and I believed that I needed to be part of the change. With the help of your vote in 2008, I was elected to city council. I have fought for many years to bring restoration back to the city of East Liverpool. I believe we can change the culture and climate of our city. I see its sidewalks bustling with businesses once again. I believe we can address the drug problem that we have plaguing our city. I believe we can have better schools for our children. I believe it all starts now. I am Brian Kerr, and I approve this message.